Welcome to the Centennial Trail. Good afternoon, everybody. I am coming to you today, once again, from Schneider's Passage in Romeoville, Illinois. It is at this location that we are going to do the re-ride of the Centennial Trail. Uh, the last time we were on this trail was 2021, so it's uh, gonna be good to get back on this after a couple years. And uh, this ride will also uh, give me the ability to put telemetry on it. So the map here, I'm not particular fan of because it doesn't actually show the end of the trail. So we're starting here on the Centennial Trail and we're gonna make our way off map here, unfortunately, to wherever it ends and then uh, come right back over here. I believe the Centennial Trail is about 12 miles or so each way. And I believe it's also paved the entire way. One of the cool things about the Centennial Trail here uh, is this bridge here. It's the historic swing bridge. Uh, so we're gonna check that out as we get closer. It is a gorgeous Saturday here for uh, mid-April. Uh, we're looking at about 80 degrees. Uh, I'm in shorts and it's mid-April, so what an amazing thing. Couple of things about starting from Schneider's Passage. They have bike tools here, they got a bike pump. Uh, they have a restroom here. Uh, parking spots, they don't have an incredible amount of parking here. Uh, when, actually, when we pulled up, there was one spot available. Uh, they do have uh, handicap parking over this way here. They got a couple spots. If you are in the need of riding these trails and you are in the need of parking, uh, additional parking is located uh, at the preserve uh, which you cross this path here, like where that bicyclist is over there, you'd make a right, and it's on the other side of Romeo Road, and there's a bigger parking lot there. In fact, I've never actually been there, so I think on our way back, we're gonna check that out. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so very much like that section of i &M Canal Trail we recently did that uh, went down to Joliet Ironworks, they have one of these new trail signs here with a ton of info trail width, grade, surface, cross slope. Excellent. I think every trail should do something like that for their signage. I just also wanted to point out that the Centennial Trail here, and also the part of the Veterans Memorial Trail that this is, is part of the i &M Canal Trail. Uh, this is mile marker 26. They're indicating that downtown Lamont is five miles ahead. Looks like historic downtown Lockport is three miles ahead going this way.
Okay, so we made it here to a fork in the road. Uh, we're gonna continue on this way on the Centennial Trail here, but it's this intersection right here, this bridge, uh, where the trail breaks off. Uh, the Veterans Memorial Trail continues up this way. It looks like it goes to the Southern DuPage County Regional Trail and then back down. Uh, but we are not going to check that out right now, but look for that in a future video. Uh, so we're just gonna continue making our way down the Centennial Trail. We recently rewrote the loop at Waterfall Glen Forest Preserve. Uh, that forest preserve is actually on the other side of the water here, but uh, I guess this is also part of that forest preserve system here. If you guys are interested in riding the Waterfall Glen loop, uh, the full loop you're gonna have to do before spring. They plan on replacing a bridge and that trail is gonna be out and back only. So keep that in mind. Okay, so we're at a trail intersection here. Uh, if we were to go up this way here, that's going to take you to the Cal Sag Trail. Uh, the Centennial Trail continues on this way. So what we did as we're heading north was we turned right, right by that Waterfall Glen sign and came right up. It looks like there's a paved trail here. That's the blue section that we just did. The green section is the section we didn't do. That section's right over here, so I'm not exactly sure if it goes the whole way or they re it was originally Centennial Trail and they rerouted it. Because when you look at the All Trails map, it says that this is a Centennial Trail. But it might not be a bad idea to just try and ride this on the way back to see exactly what this looks like. Uh, it's just gravel, so it looks like we'd probably be able to make our way all the way through, but it's definitely not paved.
Okay, so we made it to mile marker zero on the Centennial Trail, on the very northern end of the Centennial Trail here. So at, right at mile marker zero, there's really nothing here. But there is a forest preserve over there. We're right across the water. So we got to cross the bridge and hang a left. Uh, they have a porta potty up there. They have uh, it goes back a, a quite a ways. So we're just going to take it all the way back to the end of the forest preserve parking, come all the way back and turn around. All right, so the name of the forest preserve is Columbia Woods. Uh, so this is where we went. Uh, this is a good turnaround place. This is also a good location to start or end the trail from. Uh, you could definitely start on the northern end of this trail and make your way all the way down to Schneider's Passage or even further if you wanted.
Okay, so that section we just did comes right back out at the Waterfall Glen Forest Preserve sign. So, and as you saw, you can make it straight through. I wouldn't advise it for thin, tired bikes, but uh, if you have bikes like ours, you could definitely make it through there. Just watch out for what you're riding on to make sure you don't blow a flat. So uh, it's between these two sections here where you can ride on both sides. This side would be paved, this side wouldn't. And then they meet back up right over here and then we're just gonna head back this way towards Snyder's Passage. All right, so that does it for the Centennial Trail here. Uh, we made our way off map all the way back to Schneider's Passage here. The trail condition, as you saw, uh, was pretty good. Although that one section that we took on the way back uh, could have obviously used to be cleaned up some, but it was definitely nothing we couldn't manage. Okay, so that little side path just takes you down the bridge right over to here. Isle a la Cache Museum, Forest Preserve District of Will County. Not exactly sure what this is here. They have a uh, much larger parking lot, so uh, this is a good option for parking. As always, when given an opportunity, let's take a moment to recognize Old Glory, uh, waving in the very light breeze, as she should. Let me know what you think of the trail in the comments below. If you have a favorite section of this trail, uh, definitely let me know where that favorite section is. Uh, we're definitely going to be riding this trail again in the future. As always, if you enjoy this content, please be sure to share, like, and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel grow. And that's all I've got today from the Centennial Trail. I'll catch you on the next ride. 
do you have a trail recommendation for me? Let me know in the comments below.